Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is RBT, and welcome back to another Madden 19 franchise video. As today, I'm going to show you guys 10 more superstars that you can trade for in Madden 19. You guys really enjoy these kind of videos. And I was like, might as well drop another one today because I think it really does help you guys out to know what players are really not wasting your time on when it comes to players you're actually trying to acquire in your Madden 19 franchise. Now, before we do get into the video, I'm normally have like a thousand people ask, RBT, where's the Ravens franchise? RBT, where's the Carl Weezer Ultimate Player Career Mode? Guys, if you didn't like already know, I'm really sick. I have bronchitis, but the show must go on. Still have to make videos, but those videos take so much more effort to make. They take hours to record, so hopefully sometime soon I'll be feeling well. Thought I'd be feeling well today, and I've just been pretty freaking sick these last few days. But hopefully, guys, still enjoyed this video today. And if you do, make sure to drop a like, and hopefully within the next couple days, the regular series will come back on the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you are new, and turn on the notification bell if you haven't. And if you have any other videos like this, let me know in the comment section below. And if you have a pretty freaking awesome idea, you'll have a chance to be featured in an upcoming video. But with that said, guys, let's get into the first superstar player you can trade for in Madden 19. Now, the difficulty of the deals that are going to be accepted in today's video are going to vary. Some are going to be a lot easier than others. But the whole point of this video is just basically just to show you what superstar players you can trade for in year number one of franchise mode. And you're not wasting your time because I will come out with a video very soon showing you the players that you should not waste your time on in franchise mode because they're technically like not technically like 100% impossible to trade for no matter what deal you throw out there so these are videos just to show you what players you have a chance to trade for in Madden 19. Now first of all going to the Dallas Cowboys we are going to be trying to trade for Sean Lee. Yes he's a little bit older and he will begin to regress but he's worth hardly anything towards your cap and he's a 96 overall so even in year number one year number two maybe even year, year number three he'll still be a 90 plus overall which is pretty good when it doesn't take that much to trade for him. Now, the Cowboys need a tight end, and basically if you have a tight end over like 70 overall, the Cowboys will probably be interested in him. We have the 72 overall Eric from the Atlanta Falcons. Why did I use the Falcons in today's video? I don't know. Just decided to randomly choose him. So throwing in a 72 overall for a 96 Sean Lee. Look how close that is to being accepted. Now, with that, we'll throw in 68 overall Matt Schaub. We'll also throw in... Let's go with a really bad wide receiver, 70 overall Marvin Hall in the deal, and it was accepted. So a 72 Matt Schaub and a 70 overall wide receiver brings in a 96 overall veteran right outside linebacker that you'll be able to use and plug in as a superstar on the defensive side of the football in your Madden 19 connected franchise. Now moving on to the next player, kind of on the opposite ends of the spectrum in terms of age. Going to the New York Jets, trying to get their first round draft pick from next year, which is Jamal Adams, their highest overall player. He's only 23 years old, worth hardly anything, and he's still like new on his contract, so he still has a couple years left, but he's so easy to get for an 85 overall second year player in Madden 19 connected franchise. He'll improve way up into the 90s if you play your cards right, so let's see what it's going to take to bring in the man. Now, they need a right tackle. We have 83 overall, 30-year-old Ryan Schrader submit this through, and that's about a little bit less than halfway to going through, which is pretty good for an 85 overall second-year player when you're trading away a 30-year-old, 83 overall right tackle. Next, right guard, Brandon Fusco, who they do want. Now this deal is extremely close to already going through, and now I think if we could throw in a third-round draft pick, this should be accepted, and it was just like that. For Jamal Adams, who will easily be a 90 overall player in year number two, possibly in your Madden 19 connector franchise, all it takes is Ryan Schrader, a 30-year-old right tackle, a 75, 29-year-old right guard, and a third-round draft pick to bring in an absolute stud at the strong safety position. Next, moving on to a player that's a little bit older than Jamal Adams. We'll be going to the Detroit Lions, trying to bring in a player at the other safety position, and that is Glover Quinn, 87 overall once again a player that's a scheme fit for the Falcons only 32 which you probably will start to regress but still wrap the bat an 87 overall free safety is not bad if you don't have anybody at that position to begin your Madden 19 connected franchise now what will it take to bring in Glover Quinn a left tackle we have Jake Matthews who I do not want to trade away just yet if we don't have to at cornerback maybe they're interested in one of these lower overall guys they're interested in the 73 overall Oliver and that is accepted right off the bat so we get an 87 overall glover quinn for a 73 overall cornerback 
which is absolutely mental. Now moving directly on to another player, and this will be like one of the last players that's a little bit older for this video, and that is going to be a 93 overall 34 year old Delaney Walker now keep in mind once again he is going to regress pretty quickly but he's still a superstar player to plug and fill at a tight end position like if you're the Cowboys that desperately needs a tight end especially if you're your number one should be easy to get and should help you have a pretty sick offense in your franchise but like it doesn't take hardly anything to get him Edo Smith a 72 overall running back Let's all throw it. We don't think we only have a 62 overall quarterback at this point. So do we have a fullback? We have Ricky Ortiz submit this through and that was accepted. That is mental. A 72 overall running back and a 65 overall fullback for the Tennessee Titans captain Delaney Walker, who even at his age is still a huge playmaker. So that is insane. Now, guys, moving on to another tight end who is actually the best tight end in Madden 19, and that is 99 overall Rob Gronkowski, who is still under 30 years old. But with him being a 99, it will be kind of difficult to bring him in, but keep in mind, dudes, like I said, he's a 99 overall. And this is where I want you guys to let me know your opinion on the trade logic in Madden in the comment section below. Yeah, you can say whatever you want to say, but there were rumors of Rob Gronkowski being traded away this offseason for like a third round draft pick. So whatever we get him in this deal, it won't seem like it makes logical sense because you're trading for a 9 overall player. But in real life, he possibly could have been traded this past offseason for much less. So that's where, in my opinion, it gets really difficult for the developers to actually create logical and trade logic in general that makes everybody happy because at the end of the day, you never know what real life teams are going to do. But anyways, with that said, let's see what it's going to take to bring in Rob Gronkowski. Now, they do need a wide receiver. Let's see if we have any wide receivers that are low overall that they are interested in. Justin Hardy by chance, or maybe Muhammad Sanu. They do want Muhammad Sanu. Submit this through, and it will be a little difficult to bring Rob Gronkowski in, but we're going to make it happen. Now, at the right outside linebacker position, we have Sean Lee now, who we could go ahead and throw in the deal. Throw this through, and that is extremely, extremely close to being accepted. So now, if we throw in, I'm not going to throw in Tevin Coleman, but I will go ahead and throw in a draft pick. So we'll try a second from next year to save the first, and that one was declined. But how about a first round draft pick from next year? Submit that through, and that one was still declined, so this is getting a little bit awkward. But how about a second round draft pick from this year instead, and it, okay, this is just getting a little bit out of hand. But with that said, we'll go ahead and throw in the first round draft pick. But Rob Gronkowski, still a really good player to get in Madden 19 connected franchise for Muhammad Sanu, 96 Sean Lee, which you guys saw what it took to bring him in, and a first round draft pick. Now next, moving along for a Carolina Panthers defensive tackle, 89 overall Kaiwan Short, who is still yet to hit 30 years old. What is it going to take to bring in this man? Now they do want a cornerback have Robert Alford, Brian Poole, or Justin Bethel, and they want 79 overall Brian Poole submit this through, and it's already extremely, extremely close to being accepted. They do want Ron, so how about just Ron by himself? So it went down a little bit because he is 31 years old, but now if we were going to throw in one of like a Blitty Ray Wilson and then a draft pick by chance, I don't know, a fourth round draft pick, I think this would actually be accepted. And it was. So for our third string, 32-year-old, 82 overall free safety, our like fifth string corner and a fourth round draft pick, we bring in an absolute stud at the defensive tackle position in Kai Wan Short. Now guys, moving along, we have a couple more huge players we're going to get in today's video. We're going to go to the Pittsburgh Steelers and try and get David DeCastro. Now this is a player that had a lot of scrutiny surrounding him in Trade Logic for Madden 19 in the first ever rebuild I did at EA Play. We got him for, it was stupid how easy he was to get. Like it was like a third string running back in maybe a wide receiver or something. But they, they fixed the Trade Logic a little bit from then until now. You're welcome for that. But he is still, I mean, pretty easy to get, but not nearly as easy as it was to get in that EA Play video. So I think this deal should be accepted, and it was. So we did have to go trade for a couple first-round draft picks, but you can get David DeCastro in year number one for a left tackle Jake Matthews, 87 Glover Quinn, and a first-round draft pick. Now, moving along to the New Orleans Saints, 
to get, I believe, the only wide receiver on this list, and that is going to be a very good, relatively young, 25-year-old Michael Thomas, who is a 91 overall. So, with them being young, good, and not worth that much, he should be pretty hard to get, right? Well, let's see. So, we're going to throw in right outside linebacker Devondre Campbell. We'll also throw in, do we have any good left guard? Andy Levitre, submit this through, and that's a little bit more than halfway. So, let's get one more play they're actually interested in. How about, do they want Delaney Walker by chance, since we don't need him for anything? Actually, I'm just lying. I traded for him for a first-round draft pick. So... Do we go ahead and throw in Deion Jones? I know I'll make this, like, this is a lot to trade away, but at the same time, all this is about is showing you what players you can possibly get in your number one. Submit this through. That's relatively close. This should be accepted. And with that said, let's welcome I Lied. Maybe, though, <laughs> this is taking an awkward turn. With the eighth overall draft pick, this one should be accepted. And it was accepted. Michael Thomas is coming to the Atlanta Falcons, and that is going to be a disgusting wide receiver core. Julio Jones, Michael Thomas, and Calvin Ridley. Mental, mental scenes. Now, dudes, moving on next to the Seattle Seahawks, we're going to be getting at 97 overall Bobby Wagner to replace Deion Jones. Now, they do need a right tackle. We don't have any we could trade away. How about left guard? They want Andy Levitre. They do submit this through. That is not good. But let's see what it's going to take. We also have some good corners. Robert Alford added into the deal. And that went up quite a bit. So maybe what we have to do... Do we have any good defensive tackles we can trade away? How about Grady Jarrett? I know he's very good, but this is a 97 overall middle linebacker. Submit this through. And right there, it was accepted. So Bobby Wagner for three players in the green interest... Like, overall, isn't that big of a deal in terms of trade value as long as that team is interested in him in terms of the green interest level. So, for three players, we bring in one of the best middle linebackers in the NFL in Bobby Wagner. And last but not least, boys, the 10th superstar player you can trade for in a Madden 19. If you need a quarterback, like, probably not for a long amount of time because he's probably going to retire after year one. But it is the quarterback of all quarterbacks, considered the GOAT by many, 41-year-old Tom Brady. Last year, although he was 40 in Madden 18, no matter what you threw out there, unless it was like the like just stupid, you couldn't bring Tom Brady to your team. But this year, I'm here to show you, it's a little bit different. Now, they want either of these running backs, they do. Tevin Coleman for Tom Brady straight up, that's a little bit less than halfway to going through. So now, let's throw in one of the wide receivers we got. We can throw in rookie Calvin Ridley, because why not submit this through? That is already extremely close to being accepted. Now all we need is one more player that they are interested in. I doubt they'll be interested in this guy. Of course they're not. How about, the? you know what, just go ahead and throw in one of our draft picks. We can throw in second round draft pick. Let's welcome Tom Brady. I lied to you, but a first round draft pick should be enough for this deal to be accepted. And this time, I'm not lying. Let's welcome Tom Brady to the Atlanta Falcons with wide receivers such as Michael Thomas, Julio Jones, and currently on this team, Rob Gronkowski to trade for. So guys, we just traded for 10 superstar players on the Atlanta Falcons without having to start a whole new franchise. So we brought in all these 10 players with the initial resources that the Atlanta Falcons had. Yes, we had to trade away for some draft picks, but we traded away players we already had. So that shows you how easy it is to create a superstar team in Madden 19 franchise. So hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video and found it a little bit helpful. And if you did, make sure to drop a like. Let's see if we can smash a thousand likes on today's video. Like I said, guys, the normal series content hopefully will be coming out very soon in the next couple days if I can get to feeling better. But with that said, be sure to subscribe if you are new and turn on the notification bell if you haven't. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. God bless and peace.